The Bible is very specific when it talks about those who come against Israel. But did you really expect Christian groups to be the ones to come against the Holy Land? Well, we're going to get into all the details of this. Before I go any further, guys, i got to give a special shout out here to Maria. Recently became a $5 patron helping to support the channel. Thank you so much, Maria. And also Marsha, who recently upped her pledge on Patreon to $25 a month. That is a huge blessing. You guys are great helping to support the ministry. And for those of you others out there, if you want to help support, I recommend you do so as well on Patreon. As little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content. But soon it might be all the content with YouTube cracking down on me, giving me all kinds of warnings. Who knows how much longer I'm going to be here. If you want to not only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting my content no matter what happens to me here. I recommend you sign up on Patreon. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So these Christian groups, like I said, doesn't really make sense, right? From the title, you're thinking, what, what Christian groups that are calling for a reversal of U.S. pro-Israel policies? But that's exactly what we have here. 17 Christian groups sending an open letter to Biden, letting him know that they want him to reverse what it is that the Trump administration has done when it comes to Israel, when it comes to pro-Israel policies. They are, in fact, demanding that Biden now reinstitute, reinstitute the funding of the Palestinian Authority. Well, we know Trump stopped that because the Palestinians had no intention of coming to the table with Israel. These Christian groups are also saying that Israel is occupying Palestinian territory, and that is against international law. They also want reverse the sovereignty that Trump had granted Israel over the Golan Heights, saying that is not their right to recognize that as theirs. But we know that it absolutely is their right to, rec to recognize the Golan Heights. They have every right to do that. Oh, let's also not forget the fact that now the American embassy is now in Jerusalem. That was moved from Tel Aviv. That was something else that Trump did. That was a promise that many presidents in the past had made, but had never done it. They were too afraid to do it. But Trump was the one who actually did it. These groups, these Christian groups want to complete, basically, reform of what we see happening now in the Middle East. Because they believe that it worked so well in the Obama years. If you go ahead and reinstitute the old policies and you undo what Trump did, you're going to go back to what it was before. There's no, there was no peace then. There was no peace. The Palestinians were not just buddy-buddy with the Israelis then. They were not at all. No. What has Trump done now? Now all of a sudden, oh, you see these peace deals that are lining up with other nations in the Middle East. That didn't happen under Obama and Biden. That happened under Trump. Now, I believe that that's all going to eventually lead to Bible prophecy and the, and the Antichrist eventually coming. But we do know that there is going to be this little small time of peace that's going to happen before that. But to reverse what Trump has done, to start all of a sudden funding the Palestinian Authority again, taking land away from Israel, you are not going to be creating any sort of a peaceful situation there in the Middle East when it comes to Israel. Not at all. And you're going to undo everything that Trump did when it came to making peace with these other neighbors there of Israel. Now, if you want to see the full list of these 17 Christian groups, I will put them down below here in the description of this video. These are, in many cases, uh, you'll, you'll notice it from the list, many of them are denominations that mainly associate themselves more with left-leaning ideology, so it shouldn't come as a huge shock uh, when you see some of the names on this list. But some of them may, in fact, surprise you. But guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think here about these Christian groups sending this letter to Biden as if Biden's really going to be able to get the chance to do any of this anyway? And you guys know where I'm going with that, right? Okay, I think you guys know what I'm saying. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.